How do you do? Today's band again from all the way from the United States. Actually from my Bible Belt City, Salt Lake City. Got them gear, rednecks and all that stuff. Let's get your gobo hat and boots on. Today we're gonna talk some a little bit power and heavy metal. Welcome Sonic Prophecy. Yeehaw! So, to unbox this baby, let's take a look of Sonic Prophecy and Savage Gods. Second full length of this, by this band, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. And here is the booklet and cover image and lots of lyrics. Uh, kind of an overwhelming release considering that this is almost an hour long and way, way too many tracks to make sense. Well, not maybe as tracks as such, but the lengthiness of this album. As you can see, this is kind of a very traditional power slash heavy metal release when it comes to the cover image and the feeling, you know, the general feeling on this album. Music wise, yes, this is indeed something very traditional heavy metal, but there is certain power metal idea elements or whatnot on this album as well as well it's very melodic length tracks going high and mighty and yet again it's something that tries to balance itself out being kind of a mid-tempo now this basically sonic prophecy as horrible name as it is i cannot think why would any name band as such so as it is it's kind of an album that basically has all the proper things going on with the kind of music they are offering here. That is melodic riffs, that kind of a, well, talented enough vocalist, the kind of a drumming that, you know, makes totally sense with this kind of music, you know, there's not too many gimmicks, but again, it delivers those kind of a drum beats that are just, you know, essential part of this kind of music. It's not too powerish to basically drive away us who are more into heavy metal than power metal, but it's also offering something kind of more clear, high pitched thing, which is not that common in basic heavy metal. Oh, think of what you will about my comments, but what I'm trying to say here that this is kind of uh, having the best of both worlds, be it power and heavy metal. Very traditional, yet kind of a modern. Now, there wouldn't be any problems if it was just, you know, having these ideas and maybe three, four minute songs. And you don't have to have metaphoric, uh, you know, swords and muscles and, well, tra dragons and whatnot, or the power of steel there. But it would be kind of nice to actually have certain memorable riffs, the kind of chorus parts that you would make it just, you know, bang your head, fist, and I don't know, wear your boots and stuff, maybe drive your motorcycle. But now it is kind of like, a, these guy do, guys don't know whether it's about being, having motorcycle or igniting a shining armor, castle with knights and dragons and all that stuff, but, you know, something that is kind of a bad mix and match. Well, not totally bad, but don't get me wrong, I don't hate this album, but it's kind of like, uh, this is with, like a pizza with weird ingredients, or maybe something like best before went already, and this is kind of a like leftovers gathering on a single plate, and you're just wondering, well, man's gotta eat before he dies, I mean, or else he dies, and well, I better eat this soup, or I'm gonna die. So, what this album is kind of made of is just, nice ideas, I'm not gonna say great ideas, because they are not great as such, but nice ideas, like totally listenable riffs here and there, and you know, the vocalist, even as annoying it can be at times, they're like totally doable, it's like, yeah, I'm getting what this band is trying to say, but then the tracks are like totally way too lengthy, and not only that, but they are also like left unfinished in a way, it's like they have good ideas, and then somebody in the band, you know, figures out the next idea and they just leave the earlier one there and move on. And later on when it's time to finish these songs, it's like, let's just copy paste a little bit of that and there and that's that. And that is almost 60 minutes long. 
it's just like too overwhelming and not in a good way. It's like uh, losing me like in the midway of every song. And even though that could be kind of like uh, totally manageable, if it was like, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes long, and then it could be like, yeah, it's kind of a hard and heavy, but I, I can do it. But being like 60, uh, well, almost 60 minutes long, it's like, guys, too much is too much, unless you're creating a absolute killer album, which unfortunately this album is not on any standard. I'm not one of those haters who just, you know, hate it because it's not my cup of tea. I read one uh, review made by a colleague of mine and he was basically like uh, telling that this is almost like total crap. Uh, in my opinion, it's not, but it is very mediocre album. So that is to say, unless you're really enthusiastic, you know, power metal fanatic who just wants to have every possible power and heavy metal album there is, this is kind of a hard to recommend, you know, because this is just, you know, kind of a demo, but with good production. It's kind of like those ideas are not just there yet. Lots of honing and polishing and, you know, work needs to be done before this one is good. But it has some nice ideas. So, take it as you will. Not a good album, but a mediocre one. This is our take on Sonic Prophecy and uh, maybe you should go listen for yourself if you don't take my words for being true. Thank you for watching. See you again, See you again with another review. Rauta